Shalom family. One thing that I think is very funny and amusing is a busybody. A busybody is one of those who um, claims to know everything, right? <laughs> but they're always in other people's business. And they're always um, busybody in, in other people's matters, right? I, I think a busybody is funny because a busybody acts like they know more about you than you know about yourself. They know everything about your life and how to get your life right, how to fix you and how to fix your family, how to fix your household, how to fix your business, how to fix your ministry, how to fix your job or whatever situation you may be in, how to fix your relationship. Busybodies are those who are self-proclaimed know-it-alls, right? They know everything about your life better than you. You see, it's kind of funny when you have someone who has a whole list of things that you need to do to get yourself together. But when you look at their list of things that they need to do to get themselves together, it might be only one thing on that list, one or two things. And one of the things that it would be is to, um, I would like to better help others to get themselves together. <laughs> That's one of the things that is on their list of things that they need to do. Now, of course, I'm being a little sarcastic in some of this, but you all, can get an understanding of what I'm talking about because we have all had busybodies in our lives. People who, um, like I said, know more about you than you know about yourself. They know more about how to fix you than you do. Okay? And I'm not talking about um, you go to someone, you need their help or assistance in something, and you ask their opinion. I'm not talking about that at all. I'm talking about people who are sticking in other folks, sticking their nose in other folks' business and you didn't ask them. They may see the way you dress and they say, well, you know what, I think you should dress this way. They may see um, the kind of house you live in or um, the kind of car you drive in, where you work, how you eat, what you drink, um, what you read, um, who you're married to. I mean, just any little thing, how you wear your hair, any little thing that they can find, they're finding fault in that. How you sing. I'm just saying everything, anything you can think of, your shoes, they have a better solution for you because they are self-appointed busybodies who know it all. And that can be kind of frustrating, especially when you have people analyzing you and they don't realize that some of the things that they need to improve upon are as clear as day. You can see it as clear as day, but they don't. They don't see it because they're so busy looking at your list of things that need to be improved that they are ignoring their long list. In many cases, even though they may only see two things on their list, their list may be longer than yours of things that need to be improved with them. But again, they cannot see what they need to improve upon because they're too busy looking at your list and this person's list and that person's list. That's, that is what a busybody is. This is a person who rarely finds fault in their own selves but they find fault in everybody else they feel like they have all of their t's crossed and all of their i's dotted they feel like they are the picture of perfection everything about them is spot on match okay so i guess you can perceive that busybodies are also very haughty and prideful okay um, those who say that they've already repented. So what else is there to repent for? I've, I haven't done anything. Everything that I see with me is perfection. That's how a busybody thinks. You see, just like I said in the video where I was talking about Eddie Long and, and his condition, we should look at that as a cause for us to fear and repent. Not for something to glory in. Not for something to put ourselves above another person. Because when it's all said and done, we all have to stand before the Most High and He's going to look at us through His eyes, not through our own eyes. Because unfortunately, many of us, when we look at our own selves, when we look in the mirror, we don't see anything wrong. We see this perfect person that deserves everything that life could offer. You see, I think humility is in order for all of us. Every last one of us have... Um, a certain level of pride but some are off the charts I think humility is one of those things that we need to seek after 
just like you seek, seek after your daily bread, seek after humility. Because believe it or not, humility is the key to obtaining many blessings in Yah. Because Yah resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. Anyone who's able to humble themselves before the Father, say, look, Father, I know that I haven't done all the things that I'm supposed to do, but I'm coming to you. I'm crying out to you, and I'm asking you to purge me and to forgive me and to wash me in your precious blood, to cleanse me and make me new. When you go to the Father with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, he will draw nigh unto you. He draws nigh to those that are of a broken heart and a contrite spirit. And he also draws nigh to those that draw nigh to him. And don't just draw nigh to him with your lips. Because he knows if your heart is there or if your heart is far from it. Let our walk with the Father be one that is pure. One that is righteous and holy. And the Most High will be a snare to your enemies. He will cut your enemies right down at the ankles. And leave them with nothing to stand on. Okay, I love you family, and I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. And I want you to enjoy the rest of your day, and shalom.